Good morning. Please be seated. Welcome to the 2021 Oglethorpe University commencement. The Oglethorpe University singers will now perform the call to celebration entitled Unclouded Day, led by our director, Timothy Powell. Thank you. Good morning, Stormy Petrels. We'll get this party started. Today is a day of celebration, celebrating the class of 2021. As we all know, these graduates did not get here on their own. Supporting each of them are family, friends, and mentors, many of whom are here today and or watching virtually. Would the graduates please rise and turn toward your greatest supporters and give them a rousing ovation for all the help and guidance they provided you. It's wonderful. As we begin our, begin our program today, there are a few special acknowledgments that I'd like to make. First, I want to recognize an Oglethorpe Honorary Chancellor and former president, Dr. Manning Patillo. Dr. Patillo was president, we can applaud now, that's true. That's good. Don't have to wait till the end, but we'll be applauding at the end on this as well. Um, 
Dr. Patillo was president of Oglethorpe from 1975 to 1988, and it is a tradition for him to attend every commencement. He has also been incredibly welcoming to me and my family as we onboarded to the Oglethorpe community. One other thing about Manning that he doesn't mind that I share with you all is that last October he celebrated his 101st birthday. Welcome, Manning. It's also wonderful to welcome State Representative Darshan Kendrick as an alumna from the class of 2004. Back to Oglethorpe. Ms. Kendrick has served the state of Georgia for over 10 years and has given back to the university in myriad ways. Throughout her career, she has exhibited innovation and resilience, two characteristics shared by the graduating class of 2021. I know you all look forward to hearing her remarks in a little bit, as do I. I'm also very pleased to share that Dr. Jay Lutz was recently granted faculty emeritus status and Dr. Robert Steen was posthumously given faculty emeritus status. In addition, trustees Jack Gwynn and Bob Reiser, both long-term supporters of our university, were granted emeritus trustee status. Please join in thanking them all for their commitment to Oglethorpe and to our students. Another longtime trustee and distinguished Oglethorpe alumna, Bell Turner Lynch, was also recognized with emeritus trustee status. Sadly, Bell recently passed away, which is a great loss to our, our community. Oglethorpe benefited greatly from Bell's strategic leadership, active volunteerism, and benevolence over the years. Bell and her family have left an indelible mark on Oglethorpe University, and we are so thankful to her. Personally, I've benefited from Bell's insight, candor, quick wit, and passion for our great university. She will be greatly missed. This past year, we also lost two of our wonderful students, Chloe Watts, who would have graduated this year, and Monty Hahn, who is a junior this year. We hold their memories near to our hearts, and sadly, there are many others who many of us have lost in this past year. I ask that we all take a moment of silence to honor all of them and what they meant to us. Thank you. I began my tenure as Oglethorpe's 17th president last summer, and it has been an awe-inspiring time to arrive in Atlanta and serve as a leader for our university. As a community, we have had to pivot multiple times to adapt to the uncertainty caused by the global pandemic. In fact, I've been affectionately called the pandemic president. I look forward to shedding this moniker as I know all of us look forward to moving into a post-pandemic world. One thing I often get asked these days is how can we move forward from the pandemic? My response is a simple one. Lead with and lean in to kindness. One can never go wrong with demonstrating kindness, whether it's a kind word or gesture of help. One of my favorite quotes is from the poet Khalil Gibran, who said, tenderness and kindness are not signs of weakness and despair, but manifestations of strength and resolution. Kindness has incredible healing power for those of us who have suffered or for those who are suffering. Kindness will make you stand out at your job. It helps you become a better parent and leader. And if you still aren't convinced of the power of kindness, think back to when someone was kind to you. Invariably, you have experienced feeling better about yourself and about the other person. And finally, what is remarkable about kindness is that it's free. And who doesn't like a good bargain? In the 11 months I've been here, I've seen our graduating seniors exemplify our motto, Nesquit Kadere, which roughly translates to those who do not know how to give up. The, pan the pandemic has caused you to exemplify how we build resilience. I'm inspired by your ability to meet the challenges head on, demonstrate compassion toward your fellow students, and not only survive, but thrive. 
I am confident in Oglethorpe's future because I am confident in you. Now, let's proceed with our commencement ceremony. I'd like to call up the chair of our Board of Trustees, Mr. Tim Tosopoulos, to provide a greeting from the Board of Trustees. Thank you, President Ladani. Good morning. Graduates, class of 2021, as chairman of the board of Oglethorpe University, on behalf of my fellow trustees and the entire Oglethorpe community, let me be one of the first to offer you congratulations. You've worked hard, you've studied hard, you've served our community, you've navigated the uncertainty of a pandemic with care and confidence, and you've gotten to this point, I think, having a little bit of fun along the way too. So on behalf of all of us at Oglethorpe, those of us that have been graduates of this university, as well as the broader community, congratulations. Now I have to tell you graduates, I might have a little sense of what you feel right now. Because 40 years ago this week, I was right where you were. I was graduating from Oglethorpe. I was a little nervous, and I was also really excited. But I have to tell you, it was a little different 40 years ago than your experience. I actually got assignments on paper. I used reference books instead of the internet to do my research, and I typed my papers on an electric typewriter. But the, the interesting thing, I was fired up about that because I'd used a manual typewriter in high school. So things have changed a lot. This campus has changed so much over the last 40 years, and you've had access to a great campus, the Cousin Center for Science and Innovation, the Bell Turner Lynch Campus Center, and access to those things that have meant so much to Oglethorpe over the years. You know, there's a lot of things that have changed, but some things haven't changed about Oglethorpe. Your relationship with outstanding faculty, your participation in world-class athletics and the arts, your commitment to this community and the broader community. That's been a hallmark of Oglethorpe over the decades, and it's still true today. In fact, when I look back, I think about the words of Dr. Patillo, who said years ago, Oglethorpe University is a small good, small school superlatively good. It's still true today, and that's the institution that your degree will be from. So as I say congratulations, I want to acknowledge one more time the significance of your accomplishment. Don't miss this, graduates. Only three out of 10 adults in the United States have a four-year college degree. And so you've taken a great step to get to this point today. You've not done it alone. Thank you to your family and friends, and I know you'll celebrate with them today. That's why they're gonna to wanna to take a lot of pictures, and it's okay because it is such an accomplishment. And as you step forward today, I do wanna offer, as I close, three tips of advice over 40 years. It's based on a lot of mistakes I've made and some missed opportunities, but a little touch of success as well. So here's the tip, number one, is to keep learning. You graduate today, but never stop learning. Be a lifelong learner. Whether you're gonna pursue academics and get a master's or a PhD, or maybe you're never gonna get a formal classroom again, never stop learning. It's the humility when you say, I don't know it all, that'll make a difference in your life in the future. So tip number one is keep learning. Tip number two is work hard. Work hard, I learned that through my experience at Chick-fil-A, starting as an hourly restaurant team member. I saw it modeled for me and it'll make a difference, whether you're gonna be in the ministry, in education, whether philanthropy, or in business, medicine, or the law. Work hard. And then tip number three is to give back. You've already experienced it, being the recipient of so much support while you're here at Oglethorpe, but take what you've accomplished and over time continue to give back to your community. So as you take this step, those three tips I think might pay off for you Keep learning, work hard, and give back. Why does it matter so much? Because the way to make a life is to keep learning. The way to make a living is to work hard. And the way to make a difference is to give back. That's what it means to be a Stormy Petrel. So, again, on behalf of the trustees of this university and the entire Oglethorpe Community Class of 2021, congratulations. Thank you, Tim. 
Thank you very much for being part of our celebration today and for all that you have done as chair. And thanks also to all of the trustees for their ongoing support of Oglethorpe University. It is my honor to begin the presentation of two special awards made a commencement to graduating seniors. First, the Sally Hall Weltner Award is given annual, annually in loving memory of Sally Hall Weltner, wife of Dr. Philip Weltner, who was president of Oglethorpe University from 1944 to 1953. The honor awards, or the awards honors the student in a graduating class who has attained the highest level of scholarship achievement at Oglethorpe with the greatest number of hours and coursework completed. This year, the Sally Hall Weltner Award is presented to Ales Bustamante. Thank you. There she is. <laughs> she has to work very hard, even harder to get to the award. Alas is graduating summa cum laude with a BA in art history. Aless was secretary of film club, president of the OU Art Club, and a member of OU Let, Rehearsal Room C, and the Tower Literary Magazine. It is actually Elise. <laughs> Thank you for telling me that. We had a real debate, and then we thought, OK, so now somebody won in that debate. We won't tell who. I'm also pleased to present this year's James Edward Oglethorpe Awards to Yesha Nayi and Fatima Ezra Bumadi. Come on down this way. I'm going to tell you a little bit about them while they're walking up here. Yisha is graduating magna cum laude with a BS in biology and chemistry. She was involved in the OSAC club and FID. She was also a supplemental instructor of genetics. Fatima is graduating magna cum laude with a BS in economics. Fatima also completed her honors program and was vice president of Omicron Delta Kappa and the Data Analytics Club and the president of Econ Club and the Oglethorpe Leadership Institute and the Fashion Club. Congratulations to both of them. Congratulations. Congratulations. We recognize at commencement the outstanding work of two of our faculty members each year. These awards are selected by a committee of previously, previous faculty award winners. Dr. Lynn Giger, professor of mathematics and a prior rep recipient, will be presenting both awards, awards today. Good morning, everybody. It is so nice to see everybody in person. This is a beautiful morning. Thank you for coming. The Lou Thomas and Garrett Award for Meritorious Teaching was established in 1994 through an endowment gift to the university from the late Lou Garrett and her husband, David Garrett. Mrs. Garrett was an Oglethorpe University alumna, class of 1952, member emerita of the Board of Trustees, and Oglethorpe University honorary degree recipient in 1994. The award recognizes faculty that represent outstanding pedagogical skills recognized by both students and fellow faculty members. The recipient of this year's award exemplifies what every student would want as a professor. Any award for meritorious teachings takes on special significance during a pandemic. 
We honor those who did not just survive, but thrived. When the pandemic hit in spring of 2020, this year's Garrett, Award, uh, Garrett Awardee demonstrated leadership and creativity in addressing the abrupt transition to remote teaching. The Moodle support videos they created were particularly helpful to many faculty during this stressful time. I can personally attest to the support and leadership this faculty provided. They reached out to me for a one-on-one -on -one consultation on the technology that I needed to start the fall semester, and that consult got me over the hump of feeling like there was no way I was going to be able to pull this year off. Thank you. Don't just take my word for it, though. Here's what some students had to say. I'm taking the course online, which is obviously vastly different than normal, but the professor had truly adapted the course better than any student could have expected. I loved the regular morning emails reminding us of what we should be working on that day. This is so helpful with an online class because if you can't attend a Zoom or two, it's easy to get behind. A on class content and delivery. A on organizational skills and class structure. A on communication skills. A on availability outside of class. A on providing constructive feedback, opportunities to keep improving the work and positive reinforcement. A on being real and authentic. A on handling unseen challenges and situations. A on being flexible to change and adapting. With grades like this, this faculty member is clearly at the top of her class. It is my honor to announce this year's recipient of the Garrett Award for Meritorious Teaching, Dr. Marielle Meyer. Now, uh, Dr. Meyer could not be with us this morning, but she will be attending the class of 2020 graduation tomorrow. Uh, so we can keep this a secret until then, right? We good? Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> All right, moving on to our next award. The Vulcan Materials Company Teaching Excellence and Leadership Award began in 1992 and comes with a cash prize from Vulcan through the Georgia Independent College Association and Oglethorpe University. It is considered one of the highest honors for a faculty member. This year's awardee has served in so many leadership roles that it's hard to imagine how the work would get done without them. Their peers have consistently recognized their leadership skills by selecting them as chair of almost every group of which they are a member. Chair of their division, chair of the academic program committee, and chair of faculty council, just to name a few. We've all heard the saying that if you want to get something done, ask a busy person. Well, this person is very busy, and we've asked this person over and over again to get something done, and they've never failed to deliver. This stellar leadership record is perhaps only surpassed by their stellar teaching record. Their teaching rotation regularly includes some of the most difficult courses in the major, and students are grateful for the challenge. According to one student, it was a class that I never wanted to skip, and that's saying a lot in a time of classes over Zoom. Another student claims, it's hard to go through my day without being in a situation or a conversation that is a direct example of what I learned in class. The following quote, though, truly sums up why this faculty member is deserving of this award. Quote, this was probably the most challenging and rigorous course I've taken at Oglethorpe. I loved it, though. It, I wouldn't be learning as much if it were easy. This is perhaps the best impact of good leadership, being willing to do the hard work and inspiring others to do the same. It is my privilege to announce the 2021 recipient of the Vulcan Materials Award, Dr. Leah Zenner.
Congratulations to Drs. Meyer and Zinner. It was wonderful to have you as part of our faculty. We are so fortunate. A tradition at Oglethorpe at our commencement is a presentation by a leader in the senior class. This year, we will hear from Kiana Perkins, president of the senior class. <laughs> Kiana is a politics major and Spanish minor from Birmingham, Alabama. On campus, Kiana ser has served in the Student Government Association and as a leader ambassador in the Office of Admission. Kiana is currently interning at the Centers for Disease Control in the National Center on Birth Defects and Developmental Disabilities. She is also currently working as a communications and outreach intern for the City of Brookhaven Social Justice, Race, and Equity Commission. This summer, she will intern for Georgia's United States Senator John Ossoff in Washington, D.C. Kiana, will you please come to the lectern? Greetings to the faculty, staff, President Ladani, the Board of Trustees, family, friends, and most importantly, the class of 2021. My name is Kiana Perkins, and it was an honor to serve as your senior class president this year. So before I start, just a quick disclaimer. I have cried at every graduation I've ever been to, but I promise I'll try to save the tears for later. On March 22nd, 2020, we all left campus due to COVID, thinking that everything would be normal come the fall semester. As we now know, this would not be the case. We started our senior year of college in our bedrooms when all we really wanted was to share this year together on campus. My heart was so full this morning as I got to watch people line up and see friends that they haven't gotten to see in over a year. Despite the many challenges that this year presented, we persevered, and now we all get to share in this joyous occasion together. I remember being both nervous and excited when I got to campus in 2017. It was my first time living away from home and I was moving to a new state. But I quickly met people who made me realize the irrationality of my nervousness. My first class at Oglethorpe was Spanish 201 with Dr. Mario Chandler on a sunny uh, morning in Hearst Hall. Dr. Chandler walked briskly into the classroom with his papers tucked under his arm. If you've had his class, you know what I'm talking about. And he immediately greeted the class with a warmth that was greatly appreciated. Dr. Chandler was one of those professors who made my transition from high school into college one that seemed less daunting. And I know that everyone has their own Dr. Chandler. Dr. Chandler, thank you for everything. I will never forget the kindness that you've showed me. Over these past four years, We've laughed, we've mourned, we've played, we've cried, and most importantly, we've grown together. The memories that we've made here will last a lifetime. I remember freshman year when Hurricane Irma hit and the entire campus lost power. And in true Oglethorpe fashion, everyone in Treyer came out of their room screaming, there was music blasting through the dorms, and we made the best of a rainy situation. When it snowed freshman year, we had snowball fights from the quad, we made snow angels, and we ran around like kids seeing snow for the first time. We came together to watch our men's soccer team as they made it to the NCAA tournament in 2017 and 2019, and our women's basketball team as they made it to the NCAA tournament in 2020. Although their bid was cut short, we were so proud of each of you. We got dressed up every December to attend Boar's Head, mainly to eat good food. And every spring, we would come on this quad for Oglethorpe Day and to watch the Petrels of Fire race, even though we knew no one was going to beat the Bells. One of my favorite experiences has been watching my classmates grow in their artistry and their passions. We have two future Grammy winners in our midst, in Chris Williams, AKA C. Will, and Keegan Stromberg. Mm-hmm. Go stream their albums, South Union and Screens, if you haven't already, they're really good. Writers like Sophia Summerlin and Ivy Jones wrote the stories that kept us entertained. Actresses like Parker Hughes and Jordan Karim and so many others graced the Conant stage with their talents and showed us what good theater looked like. We got to see Tyson Quander and Teenage Bounty Hunters on Netflix. 
And we have amazing directors in our class, like Mia Taylor and Caleb Blakely, who have accomplished amazing film projects during their time here. Thank you to each of you, those I mentioned and those I didn't, for sharing your talents with us. I would like to take this time to remember our classmate, Chloe Watts, who tragically left this earth in March of 2020. We celebrate today in honor and remembrance of you, the impact that you had on each of us, and all that you were able to accomplish in such a short time. As this chapter in our life began to come to a close, we as a, a class excuse me, chose to support those who would come after us in the form of our senior gift campaign. This year's campaign was in support of the Student Emergency Assistance Fund, which is a safety net to help students pay for food, books, rent, utilities, and other living expenses so that they can stay focused on school. I'm happy to announce that as of this morning, we have raised $2,086 for the campaign, exceeding the goal that we set for ourselves. So congratulations, guys. Thank you to every senior, student, faculty, staff, parent, alum who donated. Your donation could be the difference in someone completing their degree or not, so thank you for being a part of something that's bigger than yourselves. None of us would be here without the help and kindness of others, and I would be remiss if I did not take a second here to thank those who helped me get to where I am. Y'all can hear me choking up. <laughs> I can never thank my parents, Linus and Michelle Perkins, enough for the sacrifices that they've made to make sure that I'm educated and successful and able to have a better life than they did growing up. I love y'all and I hope I made you proud. I also have to bring up my little brother Jason so he doesn't feel left out. So <laughs> Jason, thank you for being my biggest cheerleader and my best friend. Recently, I was in the car listening to JC by Chris and Keegan, and the opening song or lines of the song are, we were only 18 when we met a couple of kids with big dreams, and while the context is different, I felt as though these lines applied to us in a way. Most of us were only 18 when we stepped onto this campus our freshman year. Back then, we were just a couple of kids with big dreams. But today, we graduate not as kids, but as young adults equipped with the tools necessary to pursue and achieve those big dreams. Oglethorpe has taught us to make a life, make a living, and make a difference. And I'm confident in everyone's ability to do so. Each and every one of you is so special. I urge you to go out into the world, work hard, be yourself, never stop learning, and live your life to the fullest. If this past year has taught us anything, it's that life is short and can change in an instant, so lead a life that makes you happy. There were a lot of long days and a lot of long nights along the way, but we did it, y'all. Shout out to the class of 2021 for being the best class ever. Congratulations, thank you. Thank you so much, Kiana. That was a wonderful job. I would also like to thank the class of 2021 for their contributions to the senior gift. All who participated are wearing their black and gold cords today. Your gifts will go towards supporting future petrols via the Student Emergency Assistance Fund. Thank you so very much. And now I'd like to call the president of the Alumni Association Board, Richard Bakari. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Ladeni. It is my honor to serve as the president of the Alumni Board. On behalf of more than 10,000 active alumni, it is my distinct privilege to welcome the class of 2021 as the newest members of Oglethorpe University Alumni Association. I congratulate each and every one of you, our graduates, on your achievements, and I encourage you to thank your professors and your family members who have made this day possible. I'm thrilled to make a very exciting announcement and presentation to the class of 2021. Earlier this month, a wonderful member of the class of 2001, celebrating the 20th year since her own graduation, stepped forward with an incredible offer to recognize each member of the class of 2021. Harsini Punandithrane grew up just outside of Atlanta in Smyrna, Georgia, and joined the Oglethorpe family as a freshman in 1996. While at Oglethorpe, Harsini double majored in political science and English, 
and minored in philosophy. Following Oglethorpe, Harsini graduated from Temple University School of Law and studied international law and policy in Rome, Italy. While at Oglethorpe, Harsini was the presiding officer of the university's academic honor council, a member of Senate and programming boards, a Tri Sigma, and was student teacher for freshman orientation classes in political theory and policy. She currently lives and works in Philadelphia with her husband and two small children. She founded her own firm, HP Law LLC, in 2015. HP Law LLC specializes in the representation of employers and insurance companies in workers' compensation. Harsini shared the following about her experience at Oglethorpe. Oglethorpe gave me the happiest years of my life. The core curriculum, politics, and English classes remain a vivid and powerful memory. I'm especially grateful to my wonderful parents who supported me in, in my scatterbrained ideas. While at Oglethorpe, I was an Oglethorpe, Oxford, and UPS James E. Casey scholarship recipient. I would have been saddled with student loan debt if it were not for generous donors who made my scholarships possible. I vowed at the age of 18 that I would repay those scholarships dollars back to Oglethorpe so that future generations could hopefully have the same opportunities I had. When I thought about this challenging year and how different your senior year was from my own, an idea formed about how I might make just a little bit of difference and help you as you embark on a new adventure beyond Oglethorpe Gates. It is my pleasure to announce that on behalf of Harsini Panadantere and her firm, HP LLC, each 2021 graduate will be receiving a $100 gift in the mail following this day. Harsini hopes that you will use your gift to buy work clothes for your new job, or perhaps treat your parents or loved ones to lunch for a support that they gave you all these years. Harsini could not be with us today, but she and her family are watching via Facebook Live. Let's show our appreciation for this lovely gift. Thank you, Richard, and thank you, Harsini, as well, for paying it forward to the class of 2021. We now come to a part of the program that is particularly special. I call on the Student Government Association President, Taylor Roberts, to come to the podium to introduce our speaker today. But first, let me tell you a little bit about Taylor. Taylor is an art history major and nonprofit management minor. She's a member of Omicron Delta Kappa Leadership Honor Society and serves on the Oglethorpe University Museum of Art Advisory Board and Diversity Committee. She was awarded the 2018-2020 Mellon Curatorial Fellowship at the High Museum of Art, a two-year program that offers specialized training and mentoring in the curatorial profession for students from communities that are historically underrepresented in the museum field. She is currently a programming intern at the Historic Oakland Foundation. And Taylor, please come forward. I've also had the very good fortune of working for, with Taylor over the last year and so enjoyed our time together. Thank you, President Ladani, and congratulations, fellow graduates. It's my pleasure to introduce you to State Representative Darshan Kendrick. Kendrick has represented Georgia's House District 93 since 2010 and currently serves as the House Whip of the Georgia Legislative Black Caucus Rep. She serves as the ranking Democrat on the Judiciary Non-Civil Committee, Juvenile Justice Committee, Interstate Cooperation Committee, and the Small Business Development and Job Creation Committee. She co-founded the Georgia Future Caucus and started the first technology innovation and in entrepreneurship bipartisan council of the Georgia House. Ms. Kendrick is a community activist, public speaker, elected official, private securities attorney, registered investment advisor, consultant, and a proud member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Kendrick is a member of the Corporate Development Board and the Diversity Board of Technology Association of Georgia. She founded the Georgia Blacks and Technology Policy Conference, subsequently reimagined as the Tech for All Policy Conference. 
Born and raised in Atlanta, Kendrick graduated from Oglethorpe University in 2004 with a dual degree in political science and communication, earned her law degree from the University of Georgia School of Law, and received a Master's of Business Administration from Kennesaw State University. Please join me in welcoming Darshan Kendrick to the podium. Good morning, graduates and families. You made it. Before we get started, give yourselves a round of applause. We are here in person. That in itself is reason to celebrate this day and the remaining days of our lives because almost 600,000 Americans didn't get the chance to see this day because of this health pandemic. So let's all be grateful. Thank you to President Ladani for inviting me to this historic graduation of my beloved alma mater, to the faculty, alumni, and trustees, to Barb Henry, who has known me since I was a teenager and I know has something to do with this, and finally to whomever thought a very shy girl from Decatur, Georgia, which is love to speak in front of a crowd. Thank you. To my guests that said yes to spending time with us this morning, thank you as well. To my friend and state representative who actually represents Oglethorpe in the Georgia House of Representatives with me as well as statewide candidate, Representative Matt Wilson, who's in the back there, thank you. To alumnus, friend, and Court of Appeals judge, Chris McFadden, thank you so much. And last, but certainly not least, to my mom, who is my personal superhero and still gets excited whenever I do something special, even though I'm a couple years from being 40. Thank you for being here, Mom. I appreciate it. <laughs> when I was asked to be the commencement speaker, first, I was humbled. When I was student body president and on this same stage 17 years ago, I had no idea I'd be back on this stage so soon. But then I got nervous. What do I say to a group of students that have survived the unexpected, the horrendous, the global reaching, a health pandemic like nothing we have ever seen in our lifetime? But then I got excited because I decided to talk about what is so obvious by you being here today. You still have a purpose here on this earth, something you are supposed to contribute to the world. And so I want to spend my time today talking to you about building your sidewalk. So what do I mean by building your sidewalk? It means leaving the space you're in better than it was before you got there. It's about leaving a lasting legacy that survives generations after you're gone. You see, sidewalks chart a course to something else and leave an impression that can last for a very long time. There is no limit to the amount of sidewalks that you can build, or even how grand the sidewalk can be. The point is that you leave your mark and that you build that sidewalk. I grew up in Decatur, Georgia and went to a high school with about a 30% graduation rate. I was constantly bullied all throughout elementary school and high school. And as you can imagine, few of my high school classmates actually went to college after graduation. So when I arrived on the campus of Oglethorpe University for the first time as a 16-year-old through a leadership program, college was still an unknown world for me. I would be the first person in my family to go to college, and so college was still a foreign concept. But after my few days here on the Oglethorpe campus, I knew that I was going to feel right at home here. So I changed my number one school from an overpriced, pretentious university to Oglethorpe being my number one choice. I had no regrets then, and every year, Oglethorpe continues to show me that I made the right choice. The choice to choose somewhere that allowed me to be me, and I knew that I could escape from being bullied for being different. That was the first step in building my sidewalk. I arrived on campus in the fall of 2000 not knowing how I was going to accomplish what no one around me had done, getting a four-year degree and then going on to law school. I thought I was super ambitious at the time. But it's one thing that my parents instilled in all three of their kids, and this is something that we all should internalize. It's the Oglethorpe motto, Neski Cedra, which is Latin for he who does not know how to give up. And you will find that as you go throughout the rest 
of your life, striving for your dreams and not giving up, that every circumstance, every event, every person that you meet is helping you build your sidewalk. It won't surprise you, given my position today, to learn that I was in student government for all four years while I was at Oglethorpe. My freshman year, I was on the programming board and appointed a senator. Sophomore year, I was sophomore class president. My junior year, I honestly tried to avoid student government because I was working at the state capitol for a committee chairman and I was just busy. But as luck would have it, the parliamentarian resigned mid-year and I was tapped to be the student body parliamentarian and to fully run an election within two weeks of being appointed. And my last year, my senior year, I put my foot down. I said I have to apply to all these law schools. I was still working at the state capitol for a committee chairman. I was dealing with resident issues because it was my third year as a resident assistant and running the Young Democrats chapter I had founded, which included working on a presidential campaign and for the Democratic Party of Georgia. I said no to student government my, my last year. I'm just too busy. And then a student life mentor casually slipped me an application to run for SGA president. Ironically, the same thing happened to me in 2010, and that's why I stand before you as a six-term state legislator. I ran and I won, but I tell candidates for office all the time, running for office is the easy part. The hard part is when you win and actually have to get to work. And for me, in 2003 and 2004, it was time to get to work for the Oglethorpe students as their student government president. It was time to build another sidewalk. Let me give you an example that hopefully will create a lasting image for all of you here today. As Oglethorpe Student Association president, I saw my role as a servant leader. It was nice to plan events and hold meetings, but I emphasized to members of OSA this one focus concept. Our job is to advocate and serve the Oglethorpe students. They are our constituents, not the administration. So I implemented not only mandatory in-person office hours for OSA members, but I started what I call presidential walkthroughs every quarter. This is where I, the president of the Senate, and the president of the university would literally walk the campus from start to finish. You know, it's one thing to be isolated somewhere and to give orders, but it's a whole other thing when you literally walk among the people you're supposed to be serving. So we got to work literally walking sidewalks on campus. And on our second walkthrough, we came to the area that's between Treyer and the Student Life Center. It was a dirt road that led from Treyer to the Student Center beside the paved road. Many of you don't know this, but the sidewalk that is there now was not there at the time of this particular walkthrough. It was just a dirt path that got muddy and slippery whenever it rained, and it was not safe to walk on by any measure. This particular day, President Large and I were walking from Treyer, and I explained to him that students complained all the time about this dirt path. It was dangerous because there was nothing separating it from the road, and it was a disaster when it rained because it got all muddy and slippery when students tried to walk to the Student Life Center. I insisted that something needed to be done. There needed to be a sidewalk built. The president shook his head in agreement and told the university engineer who was with us to study the feasibility of making that happen. Now, whenever anyone says to me, even today, that they have to study something, I get a little anxious because it sounds to me, one, like a delay, and two, like you're trying to get out of something. But I followed up relentlessly about that sidewalk. You would have thought it was my only priority. And I had a bunch of other things to do and decisions to make, including one of the biggest decisions of my life. Either take a full scholarship, $5,000 in cash and a free laptop to a Georgia law school, or take a partial scholarship to my first choice law school. But there was something about getting results for the students that kept pushing me to be annoying, and whispers started about how annoying I was. Of course, I didn't care. I had a job to do that I was elected to do. And ladies and gentlemen, by the spring of 2004, we had a sidewalk, and that sidewalk still exists today. I have dined at the home of foreign ministers, been in rooms helping make decisions with the most powerful people in Georgia, and traveled to over six countries representing the state of Georgia, but very few accomplishments compared to the pride that I still have for that sidewalk, absolutely nothing. 
So this is my charge to you today, to continue to build your own sidewalks. Leave your legacy in the space you're in and wherever you go. What are you passionate about? Lee, build that sidewalk. What unique gift do you have to offer to the world? Build that sidewalk. Where is there an opportunity to make your presence known wherever you may go after this graduation? Build that sidewalk. I assure you that if you don't build that sidewalk, someone else may, but it won't look like the sidewalk that only you can build. As always, I like to offer practical steps for getting things done, so here it goes, the five steps to building your sidewalk. Number one, decide what makes you you, the materials to build a sidewalk. What makes you special? What sets your soul on fire every day that you wake up? What gift do you have to offer that no one else has to offer in the world, your company, or your community? What are you so passionate about that you would literally do it for free? You see, we're all born with talents that only we possess to utilize in a way that only we can use them. Find out what that is and know that it was given to you to use for the betterment of mankind. Number two, figure out how all of you can be used, the construction of the sidewalk. How can you use your unique talent? It may be that where you are doesn't appreciate quite what you have to offer, but that doesn't mean that the wider community can't use it. There are plenty of civic and volunteer opportunities to use your talents in a way that fosters the greater good. Number three, insist on building your sidewalk. Get the permits and the plans to build the sidewalk. If you think people will give up power and prestige without a fight and that jealousy only exists in school, you would be sadly mistaken. You will have to push and push hard at times to get your sidewalk built, but never give up. The greater the struggle, the greater the reward. Remember, Niski Cedera. Number four, continue to build your sidewalk and bring others with you. Extend and show others how to build a sidewalk. There is no limit to how large or wide you can build your sidewalk. The most important thing is not only that you build it, but that you bring others with you and show them how to build their own sidewalk. Last but certainly not least, surround yourself with people who will help you build and continue to build your sidewalks. These are your engineers and your support staff. These are people that believe in you and encourage you when times get hard. They can be your own dream squad. For me, my cheerleader in chief of all my dreams is my mom, Daisy, who is sitting um, in the middle. I just published my first book called Morning to Motivation that's filled with stories of how my parents inspired me all throughout childhood to be the best that I could be. When I told my mom in fourth grade that I wanted to be a lawyer, she believed and supported me. When I told her in high school that I wanted to be president of the United States, she believed and supported me. When I told her I wanted to run for the Georgia House of Representatives at the age of 27, she believed and supported me. Even when I told her I wanted to be an MTV video backup dancer. <laughs> she didn't think it was a good idea, but she still believed and supported me. So why do I continue to build sidewalks? It's simple, I'm not done yet. There's a reason that I woke up today. And there's a reason that each one of you woke up today, and it's to build more sidewalks, y'all. You see, the thing about sidewalks are that they're not only durable, but they connect one thing to another. And although I'm sure you'll go throughout life building sidewalks here and there, I have one sidewalk that you can start to build right now. A sidewalk to this special place, our alma mater, Oglethorpe University. It can be by giving your time, your treasure, or your talent. Will you commit today and start building this sidewalk? Let me start it off by donating $500 today for a book scholarship done, one sidewalk built, just that easy. And I hope that you will join me. Congratulations, my fellow Petros. Go forth in the world and build those sidewalks. Thank you. Thank you, Darshan, for that wonderful remarks, which is exactly what we anticipate from an Oglethorpe alumna. And it's a perfect segue to celebrate why we're here today. 
We are now ready to begin awarding degrees and diplomas to our graduating students. Dr. Chandler, our Associate Provost, has, has come forward, and our Board Chair, Tim Tisopoulos, I'd like to join me in the presentation of diplomas to the graduates. Thank you, thank you, President Ladani. As I call a graduate's name, I may indicate that he or she is graduating cum laude. That means that the cumulative grade point average of 3.5 or higher out of four has been achieved. Magna cum laude indicates a cumulative grade point average of 3.7 or higher, and summa cum laude, the highest honor, designates a graduate who has achieved a 3.9 or higher out of 4.0. Select students are graduating with honors. They have successfully completed the honors program, which includes the writing of a thesis under the direction of a faculty advisor. Dr. Seema Shrikandi, director of the honors program, will be assisting in the hooding. So that each candidate's name may be heard clearly, may I ask, please, that you hold your applause until all graduates have been awarded their diplomas. And one final logistical note to parents and friends, we have employed a professional photographer who will photograph each graduate twice, once on the stage with President Ladani after they receive their diploma, and then after each one exits the stage. I respectfully ask that you please remain behind the roping to allow the professional photographers to take photos so the flow of students is not interrupted as each exits the stage. I also ask that you not gather behind the stage as it is also in the line of view of each photographer. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. Will candidates for Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Studies, Bachelor of Business Administration, and Bachelor of Science degrees please approach the benches? President Ladani, the faculty recommends these candidates for degrees. By the authority vested in me by the Charter and the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer on you an Oglethorpe degree with all the honors, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Lauren Rebecca Adams, cum laude. Benjamin Stephen Agnew, in absentia, magna cum laude. Mohammed Al Saidi. Anna McKella Albury. Erica Monique Alexander. Walker Hayes Allen, Magna Cum Laude. Heather Renee Allison. Sukrat. O Aloba Bakari. Amin Ali Amedie. Joshua Romario Charles Amrit, Magna Cum Laude. Victoria. Elizabeth Anthony. Saran Hinsa Araya, summa cum laude. Sydney Alexa Mansour, author in absentia, magna cum laude. Olukayodi Oluwatabui Tobi Asikun. Majira Aziz in absentia. Alec Christopher Bob. Haley Ariel Dene Bacchus. Aicha Ba. Thomas Connor Bodwell. Uh, 
Jessica Bamaka. Valencia G. Barnes. Jack Bartlowski. Devlin Crane Bassinger. Christopher Sterling Bass. David Walker Benson. Maria del Pilar Berroa Vega. Mushkan Ashwini Bukwala in absentia cum laude. Morgan Oliver Blake in absentia. Kyle Aaron Blankney. <laughs> Caleb Dixon Blakely, cum laude. Mackenzie Aaron Bloomberg. <laughs> Lindsay Claire Bolas. <laughs> Connor James Bollinger. Virginia Caroline Bon, magna cum laude. Walker Christopher Bottomley in absentia. Fatima Ezra Bumadi, magna cum laude, University Honors Program. Antonio Jose Brito. <laughs> Joshua Addison Bonstorf in absentia. Rebecca Danielle Bruce in absentia cum laude. Rebecca Nicole Bryant. Ronisha Kelly Bryant cum laude. University Honors Program. How are you doing? Haley Irene Bug. Marissa Jade Birds Cum Laude. Lauren Alice Bustamante, Summa Cum Laude. Jack Robert Butler, Magna Cum Laude. Hannah Sophie Caldwell Solminski in absentia summa cum laude. Kimani A. Cameron in absentia. 
Thomas Luis Campa. Madison Lynn Carden. Emmeline Catherine Carter, cum laude. Michaela Nicole Carter. Daisy Casillas Miguel. Ana Belen Castillo Lopez. Vanessa Cervantes Maldonado. Jordan Nicole Chandler in absentia cum laude. Bailey Ann Charles Magna cum laude. Samuel Maverick Clements. Catherine Helen Cole, summa cum laude. Jeremy Stewart Cooper in absentia, summa cum laude. Madison Maria Cornell. Jimmy Lowe Creamer, summa cum laude. Allison Tess Curl, Magna, Magna Cum Laude, University Honors Program. Morgan Nicole Davenport. Miles Davidson, cum laude. Sarah Olivia Davidson, magna cum laude. Antonio M. Dasa, cum laude. Christoph Neil Malcolm Dixon in absentia. Ashley Page Dodson in absentia. Brooke Elizabeth Dodson. Nairi Savon Dowdy, Magna Cum Laude, University Honors Program. Megan Elizabeth Dunn in absentia. Virginia Nicole East. Najlaya Zariana Ellison. Glenda Lynn English Magna Cum Laude. Julie Victoria Erickson, magna cum laude. Jasmine Nicole Faircloth. Kimberly Nicole Farmer, summa cum laude. Alexander Philip Featherstone. Shania 
Valene Fernandez. Alisa Fitch. Gabriela Maria Flores. Lane Watkins Foster. Samantha Joy Foster, magna cum laude, University Honors Program. Erica Adrian Frank. Rebecca Faith Franco. Sean Tanner from In Abstentia. Logan Michael Fugelstadt, summa cum laude. Elizabeth Addison First, magna cum laude, University Honors Program. Daira Hanizio Galindo Navarro, cum laude. Natalie Beatrice Ghani. Elena Kathleen Garrick. Nathaniel Gillespie in absentia. Doris Gonzalez, summa cum laude. Reagan Elizabeth Goodwin Cum Laude, University Honors Program. Lauren Hoya Graham. Thomas Francis Graflin, magna cum laude. <laughs> Tokoya La Maria Green. Thomas Francis Grafflin. <laughs> Cherry A. Griffin. <laughs> Maslin Leanne Grimaldi. <laughs> Clara A. Grimaldo, magna cum laude. Stephen Taylor Haddix in absentia. Arpine High. Emily Nicole Hefner. Megan Nicole Heinz Cum Laude.
Kion J. Henderson. Kennedy Alexandria Henry. Karina Esmeralda Hernandez. Lara Ann Olivia Harrington Cum Laude. Daniel A. Hoban. Megan Lynn Houston. Timothy John Huff. Ariel Patrice Hughes in absentia. Justin Thomas Hughes. Samantha Parker Hughes. Anthony Joseph Iacconi. Arantxa Ibanez. Kendra Fechon Ivy in absentia. Alberto Antonio Hasso. Mohammed Asim Javid. Whitney Nico Jenkins. Angeli Victoria Johnson. Ronald Allen Johnson. Ivy Vela Jones. Lauren Ann Jones. Magna Cum Laude. Maddie Rose Jones, magna cum laude. Gavin Connor Jordan. Jordan Amal Karim. Benoit Siraj Kasani in absentia. Claire Kelly Marr, cum laude. D. Bork Kelly in absentia. Olivia Grace Kelly, cum laude. Ngan Tran Truk Lee, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Catherine Lee Swartz. (laughs) 
Joshua Isaac Leaf, cum laude. William Philip Lester. Roy Levy Cum Laude. Caleb Seth Lewis. Dan Lu Lee. John Ling in absentia. Christopher Anthony Lopez. Nina Lopez Cum Laude University Honors Program. Israel Luna Paredes Cum Laude. Andrew Luis Lusati, Magna Cum Laude. Anjali M. Megan. Vivian Frimpong Manso, cum laude. Ryan Thomas Marcano in absentia. Caitlin Margo Marshall. Heidi Martinez Ramos in absentia. Michael Dean Massey the second magna cum laude. Thank you. Thank you. Olivia Jean Matisse. Patrick Jamison McDermott in absentia. Milo Mikaja McGee, magna cum laude, University Honors Program. Ayana I. McGriggs. Redden Clayton McLaurin. Mariah D. McPhee in absentia. Emma Catherine Meadows. Magna Cum Laude. Noor Yasser Abdelhadi Meselhi. Alex Garcia Mesquita. Grace Elizabeth Messina. Kennedy Leanne Milam. Thank you. Ryan Andrew Milton. Christina Nicole Mitchell, magna cum laude. Alexandra Etienne Monte, magna cum laude.
Patrick Brian Moore in absentia cum laude. Michael Barrett Morgan. Woo! Yusuf Venabli Mustifa. Brenda Alicia Narvaez. Victor Arriz Navaretti in absentia. Yeshanayi Magna Cum Laude. Hayden Rebecca Neal Cum Laude. Ayana Sene O'Neill in absentia. Jeremiah Osazi Asagai. Oyin Lola Oyin Loye, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Kenny Jambong Park. Maurice Allen Parker Jr. in absentia. John V. Kumar Patel in absentia, cum laude. Kushbu Patel. Christian Bonaldi Perez. It's a no. <laughs> Kiana Sunel Luis Perkins. Lisette Marie Phillips Cum Laude. <laughs> Nicolas Plaza Alvarez in absentia. Nicholas Galton Price in absentia. Tyson Anthony Quander Cum Laude. <laughs> Calvin William Quick. Raquel N. Ramirez. Gilberto <laughs> Ramos Rodriguez. <laughs> William Doyle Ransom Cum Laude. Anna Rose Rash. Linnea A. Reed. Mary Cameron Regetz. Melissa Danielle Richard, magna cum laude. Trey Demarcus Rice. Rice W. Richardson in absentia. Desiree Yaharia Richarty, summa cum laude. Taylor Deanna Roberts Cum Laude. Jorge Alberto Rocha. Masani Elise Rossier.
Tyler Scott Rover. Mackenzie Tyler Rowe. Luis Fernando Rubio Trevino. How you doing? Good to see you. Jocelyn Ciara Russell. Taviante K. Monet Russell. Angelica Sanchez Vega Cum Laude. Diego Fernando Sanchez. Francisco Giovanni Sanchez. Elsea Bucareo Scarborough. In absentia. Julia Elaine Schaefer in absentia. Calvin Derek Schneider, magna cum laude. Samuel Martin Schneidermilder in absentia. Sindhat Sharma, summa cum laude, University Honors Program. Jacqueline Shea in absentia. Anna Gabriela Schultz. Judith Silva Bibanco. Georgiana Sima. Aubrey L. Sievertson in absentia. Bentley Anthony Skinner in absentia. Alex Smith. Christian Nicole Smith. Caroline Elizabeth Stanfield. Danielle Chloe Stein. Sydney Nicole Stone. Keegan Nicholas Strongberg. Emily Marie Stroop in absentia. Courtney Diane Elizabeth Stewart, magna cum laude, University Honors Program. <laughs> Sophia Blue Summerlin in absentia. David Alam Swilem. Lydia Raisa Swafford. Jason Peter Thomas.
Justin Lafayette Thompson. Catherine Ann Thompson. Emily Claire Toomer in absentia. Kayla Danielle Trice. Caitlin Page Turner in absentia. Taylor Shane Turner, magna cum laude. Grace Luisa Turpin, cum laude. Cynthia Vasquez, summa cum laude. Ishani Asutosh Bayas in absentia cum laude. Alexis Clarice Walker. Jarrell Malik Walker. Kendall Washington in absentia. Chloe Rose Neva Watts in memoriam. Talia Joy Weinstein. Magna cum laude. Ashley A. Wilbanks, James Frederick Wiley in absentia, Nathan Brett Williams in absentia, magna cum laude, Ian Thompson Thomas Wilson, magna cum laude, Jennifer Kim Wilson in absentia, Kirsten Rose Winters in absentia, Michael Ray Woods Jr. in absentia, Milana Alexis Glenda Woods. Emmanuel Keith Wright. Nico Azul Biatoro Young. Moliha Leila Sabar. Woo! Daisy Casillas Miguel. Let's now recognize and applaud these graduates and give our warmest congratulations. Okay, Kiana, or Kiana, would you join me here at the front of the stage? I know she's very excited. Lose it. All right. Good to see you again. <laughs> and now, would the class of 2021 please stand? The class of 2011 established a tradition with a tassel turn, and we're going to carry it forward again this year. At this point, your tassel should be on the right side of your mortar board. Now I need a drum roll. Where's the drum roll? There we go. Followed by a three, two, one countdown, we're gonna move your tassels over to the other side. Graduates, you should follow Kiana as tassels are moved from right to left. While they are doing that, the rest of us will again extend our heartfelt congratulations and best wishes to all of you. Three, two, one. You may now move your tassels. <laughs>
I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Kiana. Please be seated. The members of the Oglethorpe University faculty and staff provide intellectual guidance and services to students on a daily basis. We are proud of our faculty and staff and are grateful to them. University trustees also play an important role. Would faculty, staff, and trustees please stand and be recognized? Great going, Mario. In just a moment, Dr. Powell and the Oglethorpe University Singers will lead us in singing the Oglethorpe Alma Mater. The words are in your program. Please remain standing after the Alma Mater as the Oglethorpe University Singers perform the benediction entitled, A Parting Blessing. Please stay at your seats until the marshals have exhorted, ex, ex, escorted <laughs> the platform party, the faculty, and the graduates from the ceremony. Please wait direct for direction from the marshals. Would you now please stand for Oglethorpe's alma mater? Okay. Thank you. 